number six. Oh uh, yeah, so I had just gotten Sabin and Cyan to uh, whatever this town is where Gao is at. Well, he's out in the veld. We haven't found him yet. So I think I just bought jerky. Then we have to go out here on the veld. See if Gal will show up after a monster fight and then throw beef jerky at him. Or he might show up in the middle of the monsters, I don't remember. I think he can. And I think he shows up after you kill the monsters. We'll see. is kind of not stretched out correctly. I wonder just the video scale. And I think around I think I first played this game in 1994, 94, 95, whenever it came out. I remember, uh, I think, we bought it at Funko Land in the mall when it came out. I'd been waiting for it. Shame we never got to the original release of uh, in North America, Final Fantasy V. I would have certainly liked that game when I was a kid. We went from original Final Fantasy to what was called Final Fantasy II, which was really Final Fantasy IV, and then to Final Fantasy 3, this one, which was really Final Fantasy 6, so would have been nice to have had an additional game, but instead uh, they gave us Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, which I played that when it first came out, and at the time I was very disappointed in Mystic Quest, because you just sort of followed a very linear line around the entire game world. Well, now, of course, Gao's not even going to show up, so I think you wait for him to pop up and throw the beef jerky at him. Yeah, I read some article earlier uh, today about 
the Hironobu Sakaguchi. Oh, there's, there's Go. So, should we pick? Red meat. Well, he should join the party. But yeah, I read an article. Oh, don't hit him. An article about Sakaguchi saying he felt that Final Fantasy, this Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VI, was the most complete uh, Final Fantasy. I think of the pixel versions, or maybe, maybe it meant of all the Final Fantasies, I don't know, I'd have to read the article again. It was definitely a good story, though. The pinnacle of uh, the pixel art Final Fantasies, for sure. Crescent Mountain. And I think he, he is supposed to explain blue magic, essentially. Yeah. The way it works in this game, you get into a fight, you have Gao leap into the monster pack, and then next time you find him, he's learned the uh, monster abilities. I think you have to give him a tried meat, beef jerky stuff every time.
Okay, so we got three party members. Take everybody back to town. We'll probably just save the game. And that's all I wanted to get done there. me playing a game on an old CRT TV. But other than that, I was going to power up a couple of these other monitors and just show you. Maybe. So, here's this JVC unit over here. You can see it's like, you know, an old broadcast monitor or whatever. I've got uh, that Raspberry Pi down there. <clears throat> if you can kind of see it, it's hooked up to a um, uh, RCA splitter. So this, the video and audio signals for the Raspberry Pi goes out to all, all these different really CRT monitors that I have. Here's this other JVC over here. One, the bigger uh, Mitsubishi CRT down there. Then I guess I'll step back and just give you a slightly bigger view. There's the two JVCs and the Mitsubishi there. So yeah, well like hang out on the couch there and play old video games because um, why not oh, and this is yeah there we go this camera is not focusing perfectly sometimes so yeah old video games on old CRT monitors That's all I wanted to share. Well, okay, I'll turn on the Memorex too. Yeah. So, there's Final Fantasy 3, or 6, if you prefer, on four different CRTs at the same time. I found most of this stuff uh, either like Craigslist ads or uh, surplus used store junk like that. That monitor, this JVC was like a old hospital surplus. And found that a used store. Found that a used store and found that uh, Craigslist somewhere. That uh, Memorex bigger CRT. So I don't know, some kind of fun. I mean, you know, when I was a kid, I would have loved having something like this. My kids are not particularly <laughs> impressed by old small CRTs, and they can hear uh, the transformer on the tube. Uh, making uh, I guess it's a humming noise I don't don't remember what the transformer on these old tube TVs sound like maybe maybe somebody watching can hear it I can't hear it anymore I think it's like in the 16 kilohertz range maybe and uh, my hearing has gotten to the point where I cannot hear that frequency anymore so I don't even recall what the CRT transformer sound sounded like. But anyway, that's my old junk, my old junk CRTs. 
playing Final Fantasy. <laughs>